The first time I set foot in this arena was 12 years ago as an eighth grader on a spring break trip to DC. That trip, there were a lot of firsts. My first time in a professional basketball game, the first time many of my classmates and I travel outside of South Texas, and the first time I understood the power of education. My name is Julio Garcia, and I'm from Roma, Texas in the Rio Grande Valley. My dad immigrated from Mexico and never got to finish college. My mom worked as a nurse's aide at my elementary school, but never had the resources to fulfill her dream of becoming a registered nurse. We didn't have much money, but they worked really hard for me and my brothers. My teachers could have set low expectations for me. Lucky for me, they didn't. It's the first day of eighth grade with Mr. Deman, a TFA Corps member. He's wearing a suit with the brightest tie of the American flag that I'd ever seen. Mira ese, parece que viene una junta con Bush. My friends and I joke. As we walk to homeroom, he starts yelling, OTB, OTB, way to be OTB, awesome line, looking great. When we get to the classroom, I ask him what OTB means. And he replies so eagerly, it means on the ball. Every time you do well, I'll say OTB. <laughs> I'm thinking, great, it doesn't end here. <laughs> but Mr. DeMann's history class turns out to be not like any other we'd had before. His passion for United States history is contagious, and he helps me see that school is more than just something to do. It's a way into my future. <laughs> Flash forward to junior year. Ms. Jesperson, another TFA Corps member, pulls me aside and says, you belong in my advanced English class. I think to myself, no way. But Ms. J insists I make a deal with her. Put me in my girlfriend's class. That's the only way I'll do it. <laughs> Ms. J eventually agrees. The advanced class is tough, but Ms. J works with me and pushes me. In a span of a couple of months, I see my own ability to write drastically improve and how far that can actually take me in my life. Around this time, my parents start working second jobs, and I'm the eldest at home trying to hold it together for me and my brothers. My geometry teacher, Mr. Garza, and his wife, Ms. Rios, also a teacher at Roma High School, step in to help. They become like family. Senior year, when it's time to apply to college, they help me and so many other students through the whole process, applying for scholarships, filling out FAFSA forms, working out our personal essays. I end up getting a full scholarship to the Ohio State University. But I have to leave my family, my girlfriend, my friends, everything I know to be the first in my family to graduate from college. The transition from a social majority in Roma to a 2% minority at OSU is shocking. I miss home. The winter is brutal. <laughs> when I get an email that my grades are posted online, I quickly log on. My heart sinks. 1.4, that's my GPA that quarter. I'm placed on probationary status for my scholarship. I think to myself, I have one more chance to get this done. But do I want to take that chance? I call my girlfriend, Aisa, and tell her I'm going to transfer back home to the University of Texas Pan American. <laughs> How are you going to pay for it, she asks. I don't know. I'll figure it out. No, you can't. She's focused on the bigger picture. I'm torn. I have no teacher that can give me advice and push me forward. I can't talk to my mom or dad who are a few thousand miles away. And that's when it dawns on me. This is what they, all of them, Mr. DeMann, Ms. Jesperson, Mr. Garza, Ms. Rios, and my parents prepared me for. Everything that I had learned in Roma was meant for this moment. I have to graduate a Buckeye, no way, no how. <laughs> By senior year, I'm on track to graduate. As I prepared to enter the real world, I wonder if I could ever find a way to pay it forward to my parents, my teachers, Aisa. I attend a career fair on campus and see a Teach for America booth. 
Well, Mr. DeMann and Ms. Jesperson, they were TFA teachers, right? I don't know much about it, so I approached the booth. The TFA recruiter and I talked for a while. I leave the career fair thinking, I want to go back home and give the same opportunities that I got to the students in Roma. The summer after Institute, I returned to the Rio Grande Valley as a 2013 TFA Corps member. Mr. Garza, now a principal, helps me get hired at Ramiro Barrera Middle School in Roma as a history teacher. And remember Aisa, my girlfriend from math class, who helped me get through college? She's now my wife. I'm in my third year of teaching now. I look at my students and I see my classmates, my friends, my brothers, my cousins. I see the future of Roma. I love seeing my students' faces when they realize they've accomplished something after many times trying, whether it be passing an exam or finally making a tackle during a football game. I love getting to know them as people. My teachers gave me every reason to enter the classroom but my students are what keep me there. <laughs> 12 years ago, I walked into this arena as an eighth grader on a trip with Mr. DeMann's American History class. I was still trying to figure out what I wanted in life. Tonight, I walked in here with this. Earlier this year, a student asked me why I came back to Roma, if in Ohio there's so much more to do. I told him, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I came back because I wanted to teach kids from Roma, and I wanted to have an impact on them and see them succeed in life. They all started laughing at me and looking at me like I was crazy. Then I remember when I was in middle school, sitting in the desk in my history class, looking up at a teacher who told us he cared about us, and us just laughing at him. <laughs> I realized that he wasn't crazy. <laughs> he really did care about us. Now I can't wait for the day that my students realize that too.